Welcome to the first video of this channel. Wow. Maybe it's going to be a big flop. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Anyways, we are going to start off with some questions from the EX00 test library. And we're going to start off with FA. All right, the first thing we need is including the uni STD at the university. You're likely to get an STD. Then you need it number of arguments followed by the pointer to an array of pointer of these strings. And it says if the number of parameters is not one, so we could say if AC is less than or equal to one, it's just going to write the letter A, taking it one byte. I hope you understand the write function. You should, at least. Else, we are going to... All right, now we need to have something that iterates over the whatever string argument has passed a while. And we'll just use pointer notation ev1. Now we need an if statement that is going to evaluate whether or not the char at that specific spot is the letter A. So we need to do if AV1 is equal to the A, we are going to, not P, we're going to write the letter A and then break out of the loop. And don't forget your iterator, otherwise you'll go into an infinite loop now we just need to take care of our new line. One byte and our lovely little return. Clean it up nicely. Now, now we hope it compiles. All where an extra F typing F -E -F -C. Hey, it compiled. All right. Now, let's not give it anything. Boom. Hey, so you can look at our examples here. It's a good idea to always use the exact examples they give you in the, in the exams because more than likely, if you pass all of these, you are going to pass the, the test. Not the test itself, but the whatever question you're on. Okay, so if we wanted to do this... Paste it right in there. ABC. Yep, the expected output is exactly the same. Now let's do uh, that one. Okay, now we shouldn't get anything here because even though we do have a string, it doesn't contain the letter A. Boom! That's good. And then no string, no uh, no arguments actually. A. Boom, that one's done. FT countdown. Simple enough, let's clear out this stuff. Now, as a programmer, you should think outside the box quite a bit. And this was one of the ones that when I was doing the, the test, I of course did it the, the long and difficult way, but there is a just a stupidly easy way of doing this. So of course, for the beginning, you need to include your STD. And then you're going to write a program. That's the other thing. Make sure you pay attention to these things. Sometimes it says write a program. Sometimes it says write a function. A program, you're gonna have a main. You're always gonna include your main. So int a c char. So this time we're writing a program. And we're just gonna display all the digits in descending order followed by a new line. Actually, it doesn't say anything about taking any arguments whatsoever. Void. What I said about thinking outside the box, you could just do right, but you have to be careful here. It's best to avoid screwing up is just copy what's right in the instruction. Don't forget your new line. You've got 10 digits, count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the new line, eleven. Eleven. Return 
Bob's your uncle. Boom. Countdown. Nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. New line. And if we want to make sure that that is definitely the output, you got it. Moving on from FT countdown. Write a function that displays all digits in ascending order. Now remember what I said in the last one. You have to be very careful what they're asking for here. Just asking for a function this time, not a program. A program would include the main. So when you submit this, don't include the main. So now we have to prototype this FT print. Print, not printf. I've just finished printf actually, that's why it's in my head. Void ft print numbers that you gotta really focus on that because that will bite you so instead of just writing all the digits out the easy easy way let's let's expand it int i i equals and you have to do it like this otherwise the write statement is not going to like it so while i'm not norming anything here either so please don't pay any attention to that well, i is less than or equal to 9. We're going to write 1 and the address of i, 1 byte, i plus plus. And it doesn't say anything about a new line here, so that is all you need. Now let's test. Definitely test as often and as much as you can. V, oh, actually, what am I thinking? Don't need to pass in any arguments here. It's just a void. You're just gonna call the function and then turn zero. And let's see, ECC extra numbers. I don't wanna write the whole thing out, print numbers. Oops, forgot our lovely uni. Include uni stdh. Okay, numbers. Boom! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just taking a quick break, what do you think is more important than programming in C? Smashing that like button for the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> Seriously, could you please do it? Now, moving on to something a little bit more complex. We're looking for the first parameter of the past inputs. Write a program that takes a string as arguments and displays its first argument followed by a new line. If the number of arguments is less than one, the program displays a new line. All right, so we need the uni main int a c char EV. If AC is greater than one, then it's going to do something. So we're just going to have this write statement down here. If AC is greater than one, number of arguments is greater than one, we're going to look through this string. While, let's use the same thing we did before, while AV1, and we're going to just write what's over at the address there now. All extra, we're gonna call this f first, f first param, ah, oh, compiled, yippee, and f first, yeah, we just call it f first. All right, it was blank because we didn't pass the parameters, so we test, boom, there we go. Now. There's another one down here, takes the last parameter. We might as well just use the same one for that. It's just gonna say, all right, well, what's the last parameter? Well, you can manipulate this instead of one. You could say, let's use AC, because AC is the number of arguments. But why wouldn't you just do AC? Well, remember, when you have the string inputs, you're gonna have a null term in here. So if you were to just say AC, let's say it's five, AC5 is going to be the end of the string, or of the, uh, the pointer array. It's going to be the null terminated pointer array. So you can't have that. So you can have AC minus one. So you're going to go one less. Well, don't forget, you have to also do it here. AC 
minus one, take care of that. So now, let's do the same thing, but we're gonna pass in test and let's say Bobcat. Bobcat, there you go. Now if you want proof that it would, that's incorrect, you can go back here and now we should get a lovely little seg fault. Boom. There you go. In closing, I really hope you've enjoyed what we've been doing here. I certainly have. I'm really excited about doing this stuff and I can't wait to get into the next few ones. The next few ones we're going to be looking at like string length, some of the level ones but we're not going to do them all in a single video because I want to delve a little bit deeper into them. They're getting to be more lines of code, so it's going to require a little bit more time. So I'm going to cut them up into, I think, I think I can cover all level one in about three videos, maybe three questions per. But anyways, if you want to be notified when that comes out, remember, I don't have a schedule, so you better subscribe, click the bell notification for receiving those updates to your YouTube inbox. Thanks again, see you later.